What's up, Odooers, and welcome back. Nathan here, and today we're going to be exploring the essentials of the Odoo survey application. When launching a new product, the difference between a hit or a miss often comes down to customer feedback. Without structured feedback, businesses often struggle to improve design, target marketing, or even boost retention. With Odoo surveys, you can quickly build a custom feedback form to understand how your customers feel about new offerings, what they're looking for, and what can be improved. So in this video, you'll learn how to customize a customer-facing survey so you can turn real responses into informed business decisions. Let's hop into our database. At Stealthy Wood, we're preparing to launch a new product line, and we want to better understand how our customers shop, including how often they buy, where they prefer to purchase, and how satisfied they are with their overall experience. Now we have an existing feedback survey, but I want to customize it a little bit more before we send it out. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now and just click into our customer feedback form. So this is our basic customer feedback survey with questions about the customer's location and overall shopping habits. Now before we add any new questions, let's take a look at our options tab right over here. I want to change how questions are presented for the survey, especially since I'll be adding new ones. So here in the pagination section, we're going to update this to one page per section. And this way, our customers don't have to flip through as many pages to see all the questions in the survey. I also want to keep the display progress as and question selection fields here as is. But I also will tick this checkbox here next to allow roaming. This means customers can return to a previous page, which is a nice touch when there are multiple pages for them to navigate. Now, down here in the scoring section, I'm going to leave this as is and set that to no scoring. And that's because there are no right or wrong answers in feedback. I'm also going to leave the timer off because I don't want customers to feel rushed. So moving on here to the description tab, we have a chance to add a short description for the survey, and I already have one already, so I'm just going to paste that in right here. This is what customers see as they begin taking the survey, so it's nice to add a quick note explaining why we're doing this. Next, we have an end of message tab, and I already have a message created for this one as well, and I'm just going to paste it in. And this is used so the message pops up after the customers submitted their answers. And it's always nice to give them a little thank you once they've completed the survey. All right, now that we have those configured, let's add a couple of new questions. So we'll just click back into our questions tab right here. And first, I'm going to add a new section since these questions are going to be different from the current existing ones. So all we have to do is click add a section. And we're going to name this section, Your Shopping Experience. Next, we'll click Add a Question. And since I want to ask my customers about their shopping experience, we're going to add a question about their most recent purchase. I'm just going to paste my question in here, which is, how satisfied are you with your most recent shopping experience with Stealthy Wood? Next, I have to choose a question type. And for a question like this, I'm going to select our scale option. And that's because it will let the customer choose from a range of answers. We don't have time to go over each one of these question types, but be sure to check out the questions and sections tutorial, which I'll link down below. Now, I also want to give customers a place to provide other feedback. So I'm going to add another question where they can do that. So I'll click add a question. And I'm just going to paste in my other question here, which is please add any other comments here. And for this option, we're going to do multiple lines text box. And that's so people have room to write. That should be good for now. So let's do a little reorganizing and click Save and Close. So we have our two new questions under our Your Shopping Experience section, which looks great in my opinion. But I think these two questions up here will look a little bit better under the Your Shopping Experience section. So let's go ahead and drag them down here and reorganize these just a bit. Now this looks good to me. Let's go ahead and save and close this out just so we can see what this looks like on our customer's end. I'm going to click this test button here at the top, which will open up a new survey window. 
In the new window, we'll notice that there's a message at the top of the screen which states that this is a test survey entry. This means that while my answers will be recorded, they'll be listed as a test entry. So they're separated from the other actual submissions. This is a great way to test functionality of their survey and also look for typos without messing up the responses. So we can see our message intro right here. And once we're ready to begin the survey, we can just click start survey. And we'll also see Odoo shows us which questions are listed as required. And those are indicated by the red star right here. And the survey won't let us move on until we provide an answer for them. So let's go ahead and just say, we often use the products. And next, we can just scroll down and click continue. And here we have our new section, your shopping experience. But because we chose allow roaming, I can also go back to the previous page here and change any of my answers if necessary. And then of course, once I'm done, I could go ahead and just click submit. And then I'll click submit again in the submission confirmation window. And then I will be presented with our end message. Very easy, right? Now we have a smart structured feedback form tailored to real customer behavior. More accurate feedback means more accurate targeting, better product improvements, and real customer retention strategies. Be sure to check out our other videos linked below. Until next time, I'll see you later, O-Doers.